Before we talk about this series, Dave, if I said you could have the career of Carmelo Anthony or Christian Leitner, the entire basketball career, Melo just announced his retirement. I don't know if you can see the jersey behind my, my shoulder there. Dan, I'm a little biased. I went to school with Carmelo Anthony. There's no way <laughs> I would ever pick uh, Christian Leitner in this scenario. Uh, so I had to recuse myself from uh, the, uh, answering that with uh, an unbiased heart there. But um, you know, obviously, multiple championships for, for Christian Leitner at Duke. But Carmelo Anthony had a, what a ride, the best freshman season in the history of NCAA tournament, and he follows it up with a multi-time Olympic gold medalist. Obviously, all the scoring accolades he had at the height of his powers with the Nuggets and the Knicks in particular. And uh, yeah, what a what a career! All right, Carmelo Anthony or Andre Iguodala? Wow, Andre Iguodala's best success was as a role player on a championship team. Obviously, the finals MVP yeah. in 2015 is a significant accomplishment, but I don't think Andre Godala, both those players, again, tremendous careers for both of them, they never reached the height of basketball skill and I guess the weight that is on one's shoulders as a star yeah. uh, that Carmelo Anthony reached. You got a story from uh, Carmelo in college? Uh, I mean, and the last time I saw him was uh, in late March. Uh, the last home game ended up being for Coach Jim Beheim against Wake Forest. And uh, just everyone, you recognize as you get older how rare and special something like that is and all the dominoes that need to fall uh, in order for not just Carmelo Anthony to end up at Syracuse at a time, but Jerry McNamara to be there and Akeem Warwick to be there and um, some of the great coaches on that that team, Troy Weaver and Mike Hopkins, uh, who has gone on, both have gone on to tremendous success in their own right. I, I guess the memory just sticks out. We are all in the, the green room after there was a watch party the night before the Wake Forest game. And Carmelo Anthony is pouring wine out of a wine label that he owns. <laughs> Everyone is sharing in his wine. The last time I shared a drink with him on campus at Syracuse University, we both had, you know, Sharpie marker marks on our, on our wrists so we could get in to buy, you know, dollar beers from, from Chuck's. And so to have that come full circle in 20 years uh, struck out, struck me.